Opposition to foreign military is a big issue in Somalia where Ethiopian troops have been stationed since 2006 when they arrived to help Somalia's interim government flush out Islamic insurgents. Since then, peace has been elusive and opposition groups say they will fight on until all Ethiopian troops leave the country. Now there is a deal to make that happen. The Somali Transitional Government and the Opposition Alliance for the Re-Liberation of Somalia, ARS, have agreed that Ethiopian troops will start pulling out next month. Under the agreement, Ethiopia will begin moving its troops from some parts of Mogadishu and uh, Belitwin on November 21st and complete a second phase of withdrawal in 120 days. The radical Islamist groups responsible for much of the violence in Somalia are not part of the deal. Well, now joining me to talk about what's going on in Somalia is Harun Maruf, who is an editor with the Somali Sabis. Welcome to In Focus, Harun. Thank you. Now, first, just give, give us an update of what's happening in Somalia today where there have been attacks. What we have is that there were five simultaneous attacks in the capital of the breakaway region of Somaliland, Hargeisa, and two separate explosive attacks in the capital of the Puntiland, semi-autonomous region of Puntiland. In Hargeisa, we have at least 22 people killed and 35 injured. These attacks were targeted at the presidential palace, the office of the Ethiopian government in Hargeisa, and the office of the United Nations Development Program in Hargeisa. In Puntiland, Bosaso town, we have a two uh, explosionists targeting the office of the Puntiland Intelligence Service, the organization that is responsible for uh, dealing with the terrorist activities in Puntiland. Now, Harun, uh, we know that uh, in June, the transitional government and the ARS uh, signed a ceasefire deal. But violence has continued up till today. What are the issues then? The issue is that there are several issues. There is a political failure in Somalia, and also what exacerbated the conflict in Somalia was the military intervention of neighboring countries and uh, the so-called war on terror uh, waged by the United States in the Horn of Africa. Under this agreement, we are looking forward to the withdrawal of Ethiopian troops within uh, 120 days from Somalia, starting from the date the agreement was signed on the 19th of August. The Ethiopian government has pledged it will withdraw, provided that the African Union and the United Nations troops provide troops that fill the gap. Now, the Somali government and the opposition are willing and have pledged that they will conjoin uh, militias from both sides to fill that gap and, co and work, work alongside the African Union mission in Somalia. But the main group who are still opposed to this agreement, the Al-Shabaab, are still the stronger, strongest. But given a political stability in Somalia, mm -hmm. yeah. Al-Shabaab might not have a very strong base. No. Because the base of Al-Shabaab is clans who are opposed and, and, to the and, government. And, and really, uh, you're talking about the clans, but quickly, is are the Ethiopian troops the main problem in Somalia? Is the main obstacle to peace? They are not the main problem in Somalia. As Ethiopia has only came into Somalia in 2007, so they have been in Somalia just for two years. Before that, the Somali conflict would drag on. The main problem is a political instability in Somalia and lack of genuine willingness to commit into political process and in talks Somalia going by, on the, now. by the uh, political parties. Yeah. We have seen the IGAD meeting in Nairobi during the past two days. The IGAD meeting was an assessment of the transitional government which failed, failed to engage a constructive reconciliation process with the opposing clans we'll and get the opposing some. groups. Thank you very much, Harun. We will get more updates on that. We want to thank Harun Maru for VOS Somali Service for joining us today on In Focus. I would like to know what you think of our show. So send us an email at africatv at voanews.com. 